Welcome to the Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Laurel Martin, head coach of the women's field hockey team. And Coach, last week, pretty well-played games on your parts, mm -hmm. just not the result. Um, 2 nothing with York and dead even statistically. Can right. talk a little bit about that game to start us off? Uh, well, the team was very motivated to come out um, on our home field again and, mm -hmm. to, and to play York, and we, we played well. We, uh, we fought with them statistically. We're, we were neck and neck. Um, then, you know, we pulled our goalie in the end to try and stir some things up when we were down by two goals, and we basically prevented them from even having a shot on cage during that time frame. So right. we, um, we, we played well. And we do, and we have consistently played well. Um, we just, uh, we're just not having yep. much luck here yeah. <laughs> and not putting it all together. And along those lines of playing well, you go to uh, Arcadia over the weekend, yeah. four three in overtime. Mm -hmm. But you guys, you take the early lead, they equalize, and then you guys are in a battle for the last, you know, probably forty five minutes of that game. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, Arcadia was um, – they're a very aggressive team. They're a very physical team. Mm -hmm. And um, in the beginning, we, we um, struggled a little bit adapting to the field, which was slower and a little bit chunkier than what we're used to. Um, and we had to learn how to hit the ball again mm -hmm. and, and how to adjust our, um, our style a little bit to adapt to that surface. And we did so very well. Right. Um, and we scored first with um, a wonderful overlapping midfield goal from, from Sarah McVay, who um, has been hungry to mm -hmm. score and was able to put it in the net. And we also had a brilliant goal from Lexi, who was scrapping in the circle off of a heck penalty corner. We haven't had too much luck with penalty corners, so that was nice to see that um, we, could, we could do something with that. And then Ashley Myers, who's at a newfound position of forward, um, is, uh, scored her first goal goal ever here at yeah. Stevenson so yeah. I, I feel very positive about our future and um, I, I know that our record right now is two and eight uh, I think realistically uh, with some maturation and, and some growth mm -hmm. um, really we, we could be eight and two right now easily really S just it we're in the ball game with every single game mm -hmm. uh, we just uh, we're just one step behind and it's the adaptability and, you know, maturity that's progressing through the season that leads you to the optimism. You, you've changed tactics a couple of times, and they've paid off, right? So having we that— We might have some people argue <laughs> that. <laughs> right. yeah. We don't know, but I, I think so. I mean, we're moving in the right direction. Right. The, the challenge is, and the, the good thing about this team and the challenge about this team is there are a lot of strong athletes mm -hmm. on this team, and everyone is vying for a position. Mm -hmm. And we have some people who have been, um, you know, playing consistently for four years that have freshmen that are knocking on the door. And um, as a coaching staff, they're making it extremely difficult for us to try and figure out, okay, well, who is the starting lineup? Mm -hmm. And what is the best combination? And how can we adjust this? And there just hasn't been consistency yet. To, to fine tune exactly who that is and who's playing where, uh, but I, I think we're real close. And I mean, maybe some inconsistency in the lineup leads to you know working harder throughout the week to be in that lineup at the uh, in the next game. It's good for them to be working that hard throughout the week. Absolutely, and I tell you, um, Joe, this team just keeps working hard. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you get this far in the season and you have this many losses, a lot of times the players turn against the coaches, or the coaches start to point the fingers at the players, um, or the parents are upset with their kids, or, or mm -hmm. whatever. And and I just don't feel that. And I think that that is going to work to our benefit. We're still working hard, and we're still growing, and we're still getting along. And um, and and that is that that's what's going to lead us to become inevitably a stronger team. That is such a key piece to the puzzle is the mentality on the team, translating to the mentality on the field and working with each other to get that shot off and put the the ball in the net. Right. Um, now looking forward to this week, you guys go over to Crosstown rival McDaniel right. in, in a similar situation, and you know we were talking earlier uh, in the same boat. Um, this game is going to be awfully important for you guys. What are going to be the keys to success to go there and uh, perform the way you want to perform? I think that we have to continue the momentum of, of what we've been doing with um, 
uh, scoring. I think mm -hmm. that we've got some speed on the forward line. I think we've got some uh, people that can take risks and, and be aggressive. And I think we've fine-tuned our defense, and we've worked on um, how to uh, stop the breakdowns for other teams' um, counterattack. Uh, and at this point in stage, we secure one win mm -hmm. with some some kids getting some more goals and some more confidence, and everything could turn in our favor. Absolutely. I mean, the conference is, is not – out of reach nope. we might need some help from some others we don't know yet mm -hmm. we might not right so uh i just have to keep the team motivated and go into tomorrow fresh and hungry and hopefully we'll you know we'll get maybe that bounce that mm -hmm. rolls the ball into the case yeah. that the other yeah. team doesn't get so maybe the ball will find the pebble that kicks it in for exactly. you exactly yeah. and uh, playing um the mcdaniel game getting geared up back into conference play on saturday with mm -hmm. um alvernia going there right now alverni is having a phenomenal season uh, they're currently undefeated mm -hmm. and they're nationally ranked and deservedly so um that was the same team that we went into the ecac championship with last year and um their team uh and their players are, are not too different from our team and our players uh they've got a very strong returning all-american player in wenzel and we'll have to handle her and we can mm -hmm. um so uh, I, I don't know. I'm a Pollyanna, but people can compare Alvernia, who's undefeated and, and, and winning all these great games, and then a Stevenson, who's uh, barely won a, a handful of games, and say, um, you know, if you were a gambling person, you'd obviously lay your odds on an Alvernia. But I don't necessarily feel as if we are – I feel as if we're just as strong as Alvernia. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to give them a fight. And I think that what's going to have to happen, though, is we're going to have to build some confidence with this game against McDaniel in order to us, in order for us to be able to carry that momentum into the Alvernia game. The shoe easily could be on the other foot. It, 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 could, it be. could be. It could yeah. be. It could happen. It, it could, could happen. happen. It could happen. Yeah. All right, Coach. Well, I appreciate your time this week in uh, um talking with me this week. Sure, of course. She's Laura Martin. I'm Joe Wallman. This has been the Coach's Corner.